What's up everybody, Steven Z Killer here, and I'm bringing you a brand new reaction video. But before that, about 80% of you guys watching are not subscribed! That means two things, either you're new or you're returning, and hopefully this is the video that gets you that subscribe button today! The new goal for this channel is 400,000 subscribers, and the only way we can do that is by you right there hitting that subscribe button. I can feel it rising. I can feel it. Ah! Keep hitting the subscribe button. Keep doing it. One day we'll even go even further beyond and hit a million subscribers. So hit that subscribe button today. What's up everybody, Steven Z Killer here, bringing another reaction, and you know what it is. You can tell by the look, you can tell by the title, and you can tell by the thumbnail. It's Russian Badger, and he's back with another video that dropped two days ago. Robbing $124 from a free-to-play game. This is going to be a very interesting video. This is from a live stream reaction. If you guys weren't here during this live stream, well, you're missing out. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Do not miss out on these live streams I do on the weekends. With me are all these awesome people here, and they want you to join us. Um, also, check out all the links down below for my second channel. And, of course, now that I've been posting more and more, like recently I uploaded a video on it that involves me reacting to Jujutsu Kaisen Episode 1 and 2 for the very first time watching, check out the OnlyFans page. Yes, I said OnlyFans. I use it just like uh, Patreon, basically. But I think it's better than Patreon, and I prefer it over Patreon. That's why I use it. If you click on my link, don't worry. There's nothing 18 plus over there. So, anyways. And also, shout out to the already 60 plus people enjoying the exclusive content over there. Anyways, let's get into this video. And enjoy by Russian Badger. Show your support. Link in the description for this video as well. Like and subscribe. Let's check out how he robbed $124 from a free-to-play game. Let's find it. This video contains extremely loud noises, so if you're not a fan of landmines or rap songs from 2004, you should definitely leave right now. This boat game, one of the... Alrighty then. You know what to do. If you don't like that shit, get the fuck out. Sponsor a video and give me a custom skin, so I made the USS Lobster Fest into a real thing. Just kidding. That's a lie. I try to make it into a real thing, and it turns out that would be illegal. Like... Very illegal. Much like all Americans, I've read the Red Lobster Terms of Service, effective September 2020, and if you remember Section 182, it clearly states, Lobster Fest, Cheddar Bay Biscuits, Endless Shrimp, and Seafood Differently are all trademarked terms of Red Lobster, which itself is also a trademarked term, which leads me to my main point. I cannot legally call my custom skin in World of Warships the USS Lobster Fest. I don't want smoke with any company that employs lawyers that are willing to trademark the term Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Count me out of that one, dog. Exposing myself to that kind of biscuit Clam okay. chatter based litigation would be a nightmare. I'm about to <laughs> ruin your career. <laughs> so, to avoid a lawsuit, I went with my backup name, the USS Lobsterminator. Uh, no enemy here, just a fuck ton of giant lobsters treading on the you, water. Now that I'm thinking about it, I could have done better. <laughs> I definitely could have done better. USS Craw Daddy. The USS Harder Craw Daddy. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I wanted to make the blue paint of my ship automatically oh, wow. match the tone of the water like a chameleon. The predator flavored predator. <laughs> but apparently, adaptive lobster camouflage would have broken in the fundamental balance of the game. So I guess I'm the asshole, and the answer is no. Badger Jesus wanted adaptive Christ. lobster camouflage. Adaptive Jesus. lobster flage. That wasn't enough. They also gave This sounds absolutely crazy and I'm down for it though. Me my own custom flag and made me a commander, so I'm now an in-game character that can scream at you. That burning sensation you feel? is a fire. I personally wrote and voiced over 200 custom voice lines, which they approved every single one of. So shout out to Warships for giving me this kind of freedom. Victory, just as the Founding Fathers intended. <laughs> <laughs> What's even better is that my custom skin, flag, and commander are all available to you guys right now. So if you want me to yell at you, man, that shoreline looks awfully unbombarded. Then use code BADGER at the link below. And the flag may be free, but the other two you've got... Is this just like a giant ad for this goddamn game? As a new player, you gotta play 15 battles to unlock me as a commander and 30 battles for the lobster. I actually got sponsored by this fucking game. It's alright. It's not the greatest game. Eh... I uninstalled it right after the sponsorship. I didn't care about it that much. Terminator skin on the absolutely based Tier 6 USS New Mexico. Based? Based on what? I'll even throw in seven days premium time, a port slot, one and a half million credits, and 250 doubloons. All of 
Just saying that right now, that's not that much. That that will go by quickly, and that's not really worth your time. Those numbers will make sense eventually. Right. I didn't forget about you existing players either, <laughs> because you can unlock all three items as part of the in-game battle pass. Now that you're up to speed on the lobster situation, I can summarize the entire rest of this video with one word. Right. See, my skin is on that... This game is a super heavy grind, too. That is true. A tier 6 battleship I mentioned midway through the tech tree called the New Mexico. An entire ship filled with men fueled by fried chicken and meth sounded like a good idea for a joke, but I don't think y'all MFs are laughing, so whatever. Now, the devs gave me what's called a press account on an experimental beta version of the game, which has everything unlocked, a trillion gazillion dilla dollars in credits. The whole game is basically yours. But those servers were almost entirely filled with bots, and having no progression just killed the excitement. Me dabbing up another bot when I have 21 skill commander points a press account 86 billion gold in the world's best shit hey big dog so i started a brand new account to unlock the new mexico from scratch and grind out every item and upgrade i possibly could one so i can see how much valuable loot i could rob from a free-to-play game by spending no money like an evil rat and two so i can Wait, so you just did the standard free-to-play bullshit that most people do and understand every major mechanic of the game so the whole free-to-play concept of this game is you can save $124. Okay, if you do all the grinding. But how much is how many hours did you put into the game to grind everything? That is the question. Is it worth spending the $124 or is it just worth grinding? I'm going to say I'm going to guess this probably took him no less than 30 maybe hours by starting from zero i may not be a smart man i may not love to read but i love learning how things work his ass is not reading his ass is not reading. his ass is not reading i hope you're excited for 40 minutes of yapping about boats so grind on three one two three grind. first thing was using my own referral code for a head start with two free ships two and a half million credits 200 balloons which were like real money by the way and seven days of premium time which enhances all of the earning you do just another casual 400 000 credits in my brain i split the game between macro which is stuff like tech tree, credits, unlocks, everything you do in port, and micro, which is the gameplay itself featuring all that boat-on-boat -boat action. Oh, no. You're Come you're on. about to get hit with the Doofenshmitz over here, dog. No. Oh, no. <laughs> on macro? Like, the game itself wasn't terrible, but I, I, I played this when I got sponsored, and it was, it was okay. It's an okay game, but it's not something I would play on the daily. And as soon as I got done with my sponsorship, I uninstalled it. Oh, I wanted to be the filthiest rat possible, stacking every coupon, every crate, every credit, every doubloon. I want to take number go up to a whole new level. Pretend your homies are ordering pizza and I'm that one broke MF in the corner that isn't paying for shit that shouts across the room, Hey yo, get wings! That is me on macro. A perfect example is daily login rewards, which is free shit you get just for logging into the game. I was on that day after day. Just got another 24 hours of premium time just for logging in. Count me in, Bubba. On micro, I was doing the opposite because warships now has multiple ways to play like a rat with aircraft carriers and submarines and i was having none of that i may sound like an asshole for saying this but i play warships to play warships not drift around as a floating airport and not to run a dolphin class designed for cowards playing against these yeah. dudes is like showing me a picture of the pacific ocean point out every square with a submarine fuck you i immediately started stacking credits by oh i'm not saying it's a bad game and i never said it was a bad game it was just not for a game, me winning a game i agree with you tj skin. i'm not kidding you the st louis i got from the referral code was perfect for this because cruisers have such a high rate of fire it's like they're designed to steal kills for maximum xp game are you gonna let me take your kill big guy all right check this out i am such a fucking rat i'm such a rat you <laughs> bastard playing with a different ship every time <laughs> kick my xp gain even higher because each win with a unique ship in a 24-hour period boosted my progression by 50 and in some cases 200 percent i don't know how many of you are math majors but 200 percent is triple the xp which i took as an opportunity to relearn every ship type and destroyers were up first these guys are the scouts of warships they are super small super fast and super deadly because bombs may make a big boom but you sink ships with torpedoes Aw, oh, you fucking rat! You rat! <laughs> Jesus! Oh, no it may be high risk, high reward, but the satisfaction of torpedoes hitting a target when you fire them 30 seconds earlier cannot be topped. Alright, let's just take a shot in the dark, why not? If those keep going, those should hit them. Come on, baby! You can't outrun me, I'm the gingerbread man! Come on! Oh, that's a- that's a- Oh my god, that damn- That's a sink! Holy shit. Just remember that destroyers exist to destroy. There's a reason 
they don't call them survivors. Come oh, on, yeah. baby. It's Come so on, baby. I'm it's just going to so dodge. Jover. Yo, it's so Jover. It's so <laughs> Jover. Come on, baby. Oh, he's fucking Fuck dead. Yeah. Oh, single my one God. Hit. The hits. All right, I'm on fire. I'm about to die. Yeah, there's no saving me, but it's totally worth it. That is Hang so on. worth it. Battleships are the opposite, being super big, super slow, and super tanky, like the Yamato, which is over 70,000 tons and nearly 900 feet long. Of course, you can't weigh it or measure it anymore because it's at the bottom of the East China Sea, but whatever. In case you can't comprehend that scale in your brain, it's about half the size of a 2023 Cadillac Escalade, and probably half as deadly, too. You get cash, hit by a 2023 you? Cadillac Escalade, that's a closed casket. They are not no, open that shit up for anybody. Go, uh, did you have your legs up on the real quick? Go to a new dimension. <laughs> Everything about them may be <laughs> big and slow, but their range and firepower can be devastating. You gotta get oh to my again, god, right? from downtown? Cruisers are a middle ground in between those two extremes that I only use to spam high explosive shells and set everything on fire. You're not built to kill a battleship, but you are built to annoy the shit out of a battleship and pull his attention away from your teammates like a distracting pyromaniac. The ship is on fire. Submarines and carriers Makes are sense. cowards, and every single one of them belongs off my screen at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> this is going to be so much damage, dude. That's a bullseye. Come on. Split in fucking two. That's 31,500. Fuck you. <laughs> And I dodge your torps. You're still a piece of shit. I hate you. Streaming this crusade on Twitch was a mixed blessing because on one hand, everything is more fun when you guys are around. Rock fell on my dino nuggie. The meteor wiped out the dinosaur twice. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I need to stream while I'm recording. World of Warships was like, do you really need to stream this? I'm like, fucking yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but on the other hand, it led to you guys Q-sniping me repeatedly, and my team never stood a chance. Oh, you're approaching me, and he's on the other team. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, oh. Just... He is literally <laughs> He's going deal on their ass. The upside to having viewers that can slap your shit is those same viewers can turbocharge your progress, and they put me on the fast track. I received so much useful advice in such a threatening manner, I can only describe it as aggressive kindness. Damn, Master Plow just DM'd me in game. I opened World of Warships just to tell you to take turret traverse, you slungoid. <laughs> <laughs> Did bro just like hit you with a nautical slur? What was he that? did. He yeah. <laughs> what? Did. He hit me with a non Euclidean slur. <laughs> Captain, shivers, timbers. <laughs> Citadel shots had to be the best piece of advice I received because once I learned to aim along the waterline with armor piercing shells, I can make an enemy's health disappear. Yeah, Stop he's me. like five, I think. Oh, he's or fucked. Or five, nine. Thanks like for the God Citadel damn. shots. God damn. I'm actually knowing how to hit a Citadel now. This is kind of tight. Oh my Honest, god, that advice is goaded. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, damn. Yeah, you just so shoot wait. along the water line and then they explode because you hit him in the citadel. Water ADHD line. chief, who I see in chat right now, he DM'd me because he found my username on World of Warships and was like, yo, shoot <laughs> along the water line, dipshit. I'm like, thank you. There is one shot more powerful than a citadel called a detonation where you strike an enemy's ammo filled magazine and the whole thing ignites like tannerite at a gender reveal party. When you watch. I did not know about that. Holy shit. ATF, shoot the fake dog full of tannerite. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Unfortunately, even after hundreds of games, I never got to see one because of safeguards that prevent them from happening. But if I ever do see one, you'll know what my reaction will be. Motherfucker looks like he asked for the strongest potion. <laughs> <laughs> you take the red pill and the blue pill. <laughs> I swear that knowing which shell to use and where to put it is half the battle in this game. I was thought HE breaks core components, sets fires, and does damage over time, with the downside that it can't crack armor, but it turns out that's wrong. Wait, what? Citadel with HE? I also thought armor piercing always did more damage than HE because it's punching a hole through the target, but that's also wrong. Armor piercing can shatter and ricochet in what are called non penetrations, where they just bounce off the ship dealing zero damage, Kung Fu Panda style. This is why you need what? a toe on the deck of your ship to just like deflect the shells. You're talking about Kung Fu Panda? Yeah, have you seen Kung Fu Panda 2? <laughs> no. It's a fucking cinematic masterpiece. You better fucking change your life. <laughs> I agree with this, man. Watch Kung Fu Panda 1 and 2. Honestly, 3 is not bad either, but definitely 1 and 2 are really good. I'm looking forward to the fourth movie. <laughs>
Get your shit straight. Go watch Kung Fu Panda 2. This whole country's Mark gone to shit because nobody's watched Kung Fu Panda 2. Arm piercing on tiny ships can also hit too hard with something called over penetration, where the shell punches all the way through, which my lizard brain does not understand. That reminds yeah, me of much. my friend of mine. He would always go around roundhouse kicking flies and mosquitoes in his house, and I don't know why. He sent me a video <laughs> I mean, just him bro, what? Just <laughs> what? Roundhouse kicking flies and mosquitoes? That man must be impressive as fuck to be able to be that pinpoint accurate. You are just running Bro, what? kicking your wall. Just a fly just happens to be there. That cannot be your strat. Bro, you, you take care of household pets. You and JoJo walk up to a fly and just roundhouse kick it. <laughs> it did make sense crit. once I read the wiki on overpenetration. Basically, an armor-piercing shell is designed to punch through armor, then explode inside of a ship. But if that ship is too tiny or too thinly armored, the shell rips right through the entire hull and into the water before exploding oh actually this makes that actually makes really good sense right there okay only deals minimal damage Bruh. four overpens and two ricochets make it make sense i eventually figured out the nuances between shell types by spamming them at enemies from every possible angle and configuration thankfully this game treats ammo like a shower beer and makes it bottomless i try Shout to stretch out, out this shower beer for as long as humanly possible <laughs> Shout out makes it more beer. economic yeah the strategy is to hold the shower beer under the shower so it refills infinite beer uh, hack <laughs> <laughs> and if shells are half the battle, positioning is the other half. Because it was I guess in a sense, yeah, but... Oh, that sounds, sounds nasty. It's a delicate dance to learn. Defensively, you want to angle to your enemy to present a smaller target, protect your citadel, and make his shells bounce. Offensively, you want to be broadside so you can fire all your available cannons and really crank up the pain. Your mother showed me her broadside. Take that back. <laughs> God. Why is the Blind. laugh funnier than the joke? Yeah. It keeps topping out. Once I reached tier 5, I was starting to feel like a real player and not just some dipshit that used a referral code because I was killing humans instead of bots and taking wins over losses. As long as you don't look at those torpedoes, we're all good, dog. Just don't look at them. Just don't look at them. Just keep looking at me, big dog. Just look. Look at the perfection. Oh, Thank you. How is Nadra just naturally no tactics for this game, dude? Playing a destroyer involves being a rat bastard, which comes very <laughs> natural to him. Absolutely. <laughs> and now that I'd sunk my teeth into the game, I couldn't get over how much I enjoyed the slower pace. This is a game that favors brain over reflex and prediction over reaction, which was a breath of fresh air compared to my usual titles. It was a blast to be able to play the game, talk to Twitch chat, and catch up with my buddies without being overwhelmed like I usually am on stream. That way, I could finally ask Skulker what he'd do with a genie that granted him three wishes. Okay, I want to revoke Bernoulli's principle so wings no longer work and, and <laughs> airplanes are just canceled. <laughs> Yeah, what? There's four things you can't wish for. I want to multiply gravity by a factor of nine. <laughs> just to see what happens. I want to. I want to remove and I want friction. <laughs> yeah. What are these wishes? And that one's good. And then I want to make all fresh water salt water, and I want to make all salt water fresh water. All sea life. Also, dies. all fish. It also kills perish. all the wildlife. Yes, Everything in the ocean yes. dies. So no, I love that from bees. Like, what do you want, Skulker? I want to repeal Bernoulli's yeah. principle. All right, there's four things you can't ask. <laughs> I want to put a negative sign in front of gravity just to see what happens. And then, yeah, like double world hunger or something. I don't know. Double. Jump <laughs> The genie when I ask him to make every electron a proton oh my God, and vice versa. It. No, if you remove inertia skull skulker, it's gotta be just like that guy that's just heating up in that diner. You know the screenshot of him just glowing. Yeah. <laughs> like all of his particles are moving, but he's sitting still. At this point, I felt I had the micro part of the game oh figured God. out because my gameplay was decent. I could sink ships and I was winning some of the time. The credits and XP were definitely flowing in, but if I wanted to maximize my economic rewards, it was time to go macro. I gotta start gambling for real macro to me is basically all the things you do in port and i got so deep into this shit it felt like a game within a game remember that i'm spending no money here i'm the broke mf not paying for the pizza that yells get wings so all of my actions were built around free loot i had my stack down to a science in order to maximize the free shit i could gain okay. every day every day i'd log in for the daily reward it's completely free just for booting up the game santa's gift container hey i got a santa's gift container 24 hours premium 750 that's a super 50k i'll take it picking up the 50 750 50. Same as yesterday. On top of that, the first time I ever booted up the
the game, I got a free drop just for reading an article because I'm a filthy rat. Then I'd go to the armory and claim some more free shit at the bottom of the featured page. Check my history. 50 doubloons, which is real money, by the way. Container, container, free day of premium, thousand coal, container, free XP, container. And you better believe my ass will be here tomorrow. My next victim was the <laughs> free daily containers they give you for gaining 37,000 XP, which usually only takes a handful of games if you win. Then I'd quad stack missions from calendar, dockyard, combat, and campaigns. Do not let the fancy terms fool you. These are all just missions that are extremely straightforward. Playing in a battle is a mission. Letting the other team beat the shit out of you is a mission. You don't even need to win wow. in these games to complete the objectives. <coughs> like you increase your access level, which is just the level of your account, simply by completing battles, win or lose. The big one is level 15, because the game absolutely showers you in rewards along the way. 13 million credits, nine days premium, five containers, countless boosters, and even 500 doubloons in real money gold. Using the boosters in addition to my premium account made me stack crates and credits at a ridiculous rate. A premium account already boosts your credit gain by 50% and your XP by 65%, but I put on boosters that jacked my gains by 800 and in some cases 2400% per game. Chat's favorite part of this grind were the crate openings, and it was downright sublime to open box after box of high value items like a dirty rat, knowing I had spent zero dollars on the game. The Santa crates I opened gave me a thousand doubloons, four dollars. 30 days premium, $10. Tier 6 free reach, $28. And tier 7 Yukon, $40. Damn, I got 30 days of premium time. That's fucking insane. Add that to the 500 dubs from the leveling, 175 from campaigns, and the tier 7 premium I got from the calendar mission worth 9,800. And double checking my math here, I have effectively robbed this game of $124 of value. And even if you're a stickler that wants me to take out the premium time drop, fine. $114 dollars of value i even spent all the money i Damn. made like a rat by abusing the sequential bundles in the shop basically if you buy certain bundles in order they give you a massive discount so to continue my streak as a coupon clipping bastard i got santa crate 60 percent off two days premium 82 percent off two more santa crates 76 percent off and a final big santa crate 79 percent off <laughs> But just What'd when you I was get out of it, though? Like a genius, I made the worst trade deal in the history of World of Warships trade deals by selling my Tier 7 Premium Yukon for 7 million credits. Bang! Sell that for 7 million uh, credits. And it's safe to say that those of you on Twitch did not exactly approve of that move. You goof! You goofy yeah, You bingus! Rip! No! Dumbass! Damn! You <laughs> fucking goober! Money grinding for T8 and up, Lamont. Wermst! Re! Chad is upset for this one. Did he sell the shit? Yeah, I got rid of it. It's gone. Stupid North trash. I will blow you up like Michigan, <laughs> you fucking goober. <laughs> but chat for God me, damn. The ship I care about is the tier six USS New Mexico. <laughs> Honestly, that that's an average chat sometimes. Yeah. Mexico that has my lobsterminator skin. I don't give a shit about tier seven. Chat, oh, well. I'm here to tell you right now. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> we don't Nothing. care. I sold it for seven million. I was never gonna play tier seven. My favorite part of this crate opening experience was learning that there is actual tech for opening loot boxes in this game. Because when you earn a container, you have a choice of which one to select. More economic rewards, more signals, more camos, more coal, or try your luck. You see, every time you open a crate, there is a tiny chance that crate is upgraded to a super container that gives you better loot. The safe bet that oh, wow. everybody recommends is more coal because it's a currency you can steadily stack up over time and buy ships. Like I bought the tier five premium Marblehead this way. As a matter of fact, I used a coupon for an extra 25% off because I'm a seething rat that cannot be stopped. But as I was saying, that last <laughs> option, try your luck, brought the dark urge out of all of my buddies because it's a roll of the dice. If you select this option, your chances of winning a super container go up. But if you lose and you don't land the super container, you'll be stuck with a smaller container instead with lesser loot. You guys know how much I hate gambling and how spilled salt unlucky I am? This brought out the gamble in him. And with loot boxes after the CSGO video. You are the least lucky person on earth. Nah. I'd, I'd win. Nah, I'd win, bro. Nah, I'd so outgamble you for sure. And as hilarious as it is to have a game mechanic where you can gamble on a gamble, I learned to just take the coal and move on. Do not listen to the intrusive thoughts of my homies. You will never win 36 straight hands of blackjack in your life. You're 36 okay. games of blackjack away from being a billionaire. Yeah, I really like this game. <laughs> this statistical anomaly would go crazy, bro. <laughs>
<laughs> the dumbest part of this entire grind to unlock the tier 6 New Mexico is that all of my very best footage came at the worst possible time. The stream where we were absolutely stacking XP, playing tier 4s and tier 5s, where we won 9 out of 10 games, including an 8 game win streak, was the same stream where we barely focused on the game and the entire conversation was out of pocket. I was talking to Pasta about how I didn't know he was black. Goose started cracking a fresh can of soda every time someone placed an order using his gamer subs code, which made his sprite loving girlfriend furious. And Skulker poured gas on the fire by trying to min max the situation so Goose cracked and wasted as many cans as possible in the name of carbon footprint. The whole situation is very confusing to me too, but apparently the less I talk about the game I'm playing, the better my performance in that game becomes. Pause, are you half white? I'm not any white. Not Hispanic any and black, white. my guy. Oh, you're black? I did not know you were black. I knew you were Hispanic. <laughs> I did not know you were black. How did you not know this? <laughs> Dominican. That's pretty much just like Mexican and black, right? That's just no, I but I've only... you call me Dominican again, no, you know, I, I you Dominican? Ever... <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I have what kind only of ever... This is like kind of the shit I wish sometimes I would have like when I'm streaming. Like the, the, these random fucking moments are so good. I've heard Pasta talk about being Hispanic. I've never heard of him. What kind of Hispanic? Oh, Colombian. Jesus, fuck. Correct. Oh. I have definitely heard that Nowhere before. near the Dominican Republic. Oh my I mean, god, I said a That I was perfection right there. Some chat's like, oh, you're black, sips beer. I'm just oh, asking oh, if he's oh, black. Oh, 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 I didn't oh, mean oh, anything oh, oh, by oh, oh, it. Oh, oh, I also yeah. just asked him if he was white five seconds earlier. You had white? no oh, issue with that. Oh, you're white? Smelling it. <laughs> 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 you just keep cans around so you can say shit. Fuck it, I'm doing it. Pack your can. Oh, no. No, <laughs> Stop. 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 He's just opening them, just open. He doesn't even fucking need to drink them. Oh. <laughs> He's torturing the chap by making soda flat. <laughs> this is the way. I hope shit. that is a soundboard. I'm not a 12 pack today. I just opened seven. Bro. Why? You better have Haley. I'm not gonna cough you a 12 pack. I have to come. Actually, fine. Stop. If you don't grab a boot and right, shotgun done, all of them I'm right done, now, at least I'm wasting Sprite and not gamer subs. Use code. <laughs> <laughs> you can promote your own gamer subs. That's fine. Black lung, baby. Black nah. lung. Ten percent off, motherfucker. Run that shit. Anyway, fuck Sprite. At some point, all this out. Dog, that got me no, laughing dude. so hard, my body heated up, and I gotta take my hoodie off. <laughs> no, you oh just code pasta because you didn't know I was black. You just code Vagra just because I don't know. <laughs> Drink some water for once in your fucking life. No. Really? No. Yeah, no, support. I Citadel. Oh, you forget about first. it. Forget about it. The Citadel is basically see. like an 80s action movie. You hit them in the right spot, they just explode. Photo evidence of the nine oh, open Jesus. sprites on my desk Five. right now, by the way. <laughs> right, yeah, like that is a curse. Image of the right. It was fucking worth it. I sold an order that was $70 one minute ago. Appreciate you, dog. Appreciate you, dog. My girlfriend was like, you're wasting so much. It's going to pay for itself, sweetie. You're Say goodbye up. to Appreciate Mr. Bovey. Die. <laughs> Holy shit. Well done. Well done. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, I was fighting the shadow people. I'm here. I'm here. I love how Skulker joined mm, and played the mm. Lego Yoda death sound the second I killed that shit. Ah, does it play that when you join? Dream. It does. You want to see? Yeah. Ah, let's go. <laughs> oh, shit. Two of them. Hang on. These are my last two in this case. I got another one, though. Thank you, Chad. Thank <laughs> you for buying games. He's going to have to go to the store You're more. making Goose's whole ass night. Yeah, baby. <laughs> 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 yeah, baby. <laughs> you are making up for the sprite loss. Double barrel. You ready for it? It was. It was. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> Damn, he's just styling. Deficit. You're just my styling my. on him now. He pulled both my triggers. My. Wow. Holy fuck, another order. Hang on. Dude, if I get through another 12 pack of Sprite, I'll start going through the coach and then I'll just go buy more tomorrow. Think of how legendary the picture will be by the end, though. Run into me, please. Oh my God, he's get the duct tape. Oh my fucking God. Please. Yo, Yo by the way. Yes, I just <laughs> fucking crushed him. That was oh, perfect. Gosh. Right oh, on wait, time I'm with another oh, wait, I'm another crack of the sprite. Because I sold another order, motherfucker. 4721 7198. I see you, King.
This is the that stupidest fucking crazy. thing I've ever done for a living. Anyway, my point was that this is the most carbon it's we've fine. ever produced in this voice call. I recycle. I recycle. All right. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I don't care he if you drink the them. Bush Digger, it is not in the contract that he has to chug every Sprite. He would die. <laughs> not he a, would not there do is this. Not a, there is 38 grams of sugar in one can. <laughs> I think I've opened 14 cans because I opened the new 12 pack. There are 500... You don't need to drink that much fucking soda. God damn. 32 grams. I, if I have a can of soda, like legit, it's either root beer or cream soda. Uh, usually that's what I go, go for when it comes to sodas. And I have like one, maybe a day, one every other day. And I'm, I'm slowly getting rid of it because of the fact that I'm going to the gym now. There's some sugar in front of you right now, just in liquid Jesus form. Christ. At this it. point, I'm, I am going to build like a fucking mech in my backyard or some shit. Shout out. You don't need that much soda in your life. <laughs> I need them to get louder and louder and just more and more gain. Crank the gain on your mic and right, max it out right. in Windows. Oh. Oh god, this is gonna be loud. Discord output volume. Max. It's gotta be triple boosted. Alright, levels. 100. Alright, the game. Get ready, boys. Uh -oh. This is the final step <laughs> towards enlightenment. All right. Oh Jesus. Uh, viewers beware. We're in for we're in for hell. Right, let me make sure the like echo cancellation or anything is on right now. I'm already dying, dude. I'm already no, no, no noise suppression, no automatic game control. Shh. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> dog, that sounded like you were cracking open a torpedo, dog. Oh my Splitting God. time and space asunder. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Remember, you are Stop still moving. You, you are still oh, moving. Yeah, yeah. I learned how to throw thing over the summer. <laughs> By the way, terrible news. <laughs> need to go get another sprite. <laughs> Don't let anyone ever tell you loud isn't funny. Loud is absolutely <laughs> funny. I can concur. I need Goose to record the next one, and I'm gonna take it into audition and add as much Bit Crush as I can get my hands on. But you gotta do it like the Portal song. You know that guy that Bit Crush the Portal song? Oh my God, is that ever hilarious? You know the Portal song? Did it? Did it? He bit crushed it so hard. It's just like so depressingly funny because of how much he crushed it. Oh. 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 It's so crunchy. For the sake of not just like straight up wasting beverages now, this is the last prank. Girlfriend has vetoed the bit. She's like, why are you wasting all our fucking sprite dude, I'm, I'm... Just give me a crisp recording. Wait, 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 here you go. God damn. <laughs> Perfect. The crisp one. <laughs> All right, All right chat. All right, chat. That's the last one. It's just like a landmine going on. Yes, dude. I was about to say landmine. <laughs> okay. Wait, how many sprites do you have left? Ten. Oh Yo, so can you oh negotiate God. with her? I tried to. <laughs> retry the speech check. Retry the speech She's check. Go back. Christ, it's a white <laughs> check. You can dude, retry no, this. I'm already Just say robbed. scum, go back. I'm doing, an Iron Man. Man. I'm doing an Iron Man run of this relationship, yeah, like, bro. I can't go back. Time. Every sprite just gets me closer to the bad ending, bro. Anyway, check this out. Look how many peak mic is peak content. Oh yeah, okay, you got it. No, you got it, bro. It's okay. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Hold on. Jesus fucking Christ. No, <laughs> you're, you're <laughs> summoning you're summoning an old god. Please stop. <laughs> okay, you have an okay, okay. compressor. All right, okay, okay, okay. Smoker, can you get even louder? Oh my I get, god, I hit negative a three four. citadel, you know, I basically 100 to zero to him, holy shit. This is your only warning to take your headphones off. This I'm scared. Chat, I'm scared. This is your only warning. Alright, I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna take I'm gonna it. I'm gonna withstand. <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> Fuck! Wait, wait, wait. You can uncrack the can. We figured out a way. Do that to my eight cans. Uncrack eight cans. Uncrack my eight. Put that shit back in the can, bro. No, officer. I'm not drunk driving. I'm not drinking while driving. Observe.
there you go, easy money. Uh, uh, no, I guess I'll just... All that work, it did exactly what I wanted, and then I needed it. Hate to so say a skulker, but you, you know, you might be washed for real. Skulker ain't never washed. I got four Damn. signal hits, and I got all my tasks done. And now that I've gained all these credits, all this XP, played hundreds of battles, and finally unlocked the Tier 6 New Mexico battleship, you know what the tragedy is? I'm dog shit with it. I am so terrible with this ship. I am absolutely hopeless with the USS New Mexico. R.I.P. You have no idea how embarrassing it is for a developer to make you a commander, give you a custom flag, and a custom skin on a ship, only to have that ship be your worst performing vessel with a 35% win rate. Well below my average of 54% and barely above the threshold of winning one out of every three games. When they asked me what ship I wanted from a list of 11, I not only picked the New Mexico for the obvious jokes I can't make anymore, but it seemed like such a wacky ship that I just couldn't pick anything else. This thing is crazy tanky and crazy powerful both the ship and the cannons are unbelievably heavy this is the heaviest song we have ever written met a girl and i really thought she liked me <laughs> but the downside of that heavy weight is that it's also crazy slow and crazy inaccurate it's basically a drunken juggernaut wheeling a grenade launcher with syrup on his boots Every it kind of fits your style, I'm not gonna lie. Every battle is a giant roll of the dice with the most confusing odds imaginable. Uh, I can dodge some of these. Maybe? Uh, he he no. pinged you. They're homing yeah. you. It's GG. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's a no, I dodged that oh, one. Oh, nice. Oh. Yo, if I get this guy, that's gotta be. I mean, that's gotta be good hits. It just might not be enough to oh. kill him. No, I got him! Oh Fuck God. yeah! Alright, that's still right. worth it. That's <laughs> still worth it. worth it. Blasting the cannons on this thing is like trying to snipe someone a mile away with buckshot. The dispersion is a joke and frequently makes a cartoon outline of bullet holes around your target. But even with this yeah. laundry list of flaws, I still love the New Mexico with all my heart. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she don't. But when she goes, she really fucking goes. Uh, you no way jail. this hits, right? Like, no way that hits. How far away could I nail somebody from? Damn. I just got a random Citadel hit. I thought I was missing all of those shots. I don't think that's going to make it in time. No. He's shooting at his own oh ship, though. Oh, my God. Is I hit, hit the Citadel, that Herboku. That hit? That's <laughs> what that damage is. Also, I just fucking realized there's lobsters trailing you in your wake. Yeah. Yo, that's so Okay, that's, good. that's cool. Twitch chat ended up getting the last laugh on me because I not only ended up playing a Tier 7 battleship, but also winning a ranked game at Tier 7 by ramming into somebody. But here at the end of the video, you have no idea how incredibly satisfying it feels to have figured out how this game works on a fundamental level. I may still suck, but now I understand understand the economy, the progression, the combat, all the parts that fit together to make a cohesive game. And I found this learning process incredibly satisfying. I cannot thank you guys enough for helping make all of this happen. Without your viewership, I'd never have- The thing about it that he still never said, how long, how many hours did he put into this fucking game? Custom skins and I'd never be able to make a video like this. Food is just dark. dirt. We made it in different shades according to Sigrid. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So true. No. Do not forget to try out World of Warships for free using my link below with code Badger if it's not already there. So you can enjoy my voice, my skin, and my flag just as much as I have. And a final shout out to all of you subbed with notifications on. Even if you're like Skulker and you just do it to hate, I'm still thankful for you. I keep Love notice on just to hate. I'll be in the comments yeah. like... It's Dude, a bitch every time you <laughs> If you're just hating, you're wack. If you're hating but funny, you're better. See, I love hating and but funny. I know yeah. some sausage edge yeah, fingers type That's this right, tweet. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody Did said that to Skulker? <laughs> I know some sausage ass fingers type this tweet. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god. And that's about it, dog. That's all I've got to say. Thank you so much. No, for I wanted to know how long you played it. Watching my video all the way to the end. That just means the world to me. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and be sure to tune in next time I did. when it's probably and show your support. company or something like that. I tell you what, my ass is sleeping in tomorrow. Wait, did he say lethal? Something like that. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and be sure to tune in next time when it's probably lethal company or something like that. Yes, I'm watching that as soon as that's available. Holy fuck yes. Dead. I tell you what, my ass is sleeping in tomorrow. <laughs> well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Uh, this game was a... Uh... Though this video was hilarious, and like I said, I have some personal experience with this game because I was sponsored by the same people uh, for like a week or so, and it was just not my kind of game. I didn't get go into that much detail, and I did enjoy what I played. I did find it fun, but... 
I fell out of it real fast, and especially when my sponsorship ended, I just uninstalled the game. I just didn't see myself playing it. But if it's your kind of thing, I hope you enjoy. I, this was a fun video to watch, and I hope you guys leave a like, drop a subscription if you guys haven't already. Check out all my other links down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Not ending the stream, ending the video. Later.